Okay, this is another short tutorial. In part, that's because you guys who've been following me for all this time, um, you've got to be getting pretty good with Blender right now. And in many cases, you're probably better than me in a lot of areas. But I just keep pointing out little things because I'm kind of just covering all the little details along the way because it's just good to be grounded in all of the basics so that when you do get around to creating your cool animations and artwork, then you can just pick the tools out of your tool chest as you need them. All right, so what we're going to do in this case is have two separate objects and armatures in here. I'll just grab that armature there, do our shift I. Oh no, it already says it has a constraint. I don't believe it. So I'll go see, I'll go get rid of it. You can't put two constraints on the same bone there. So shift I and that one. This one might have one too. I'll get rid of that too. All right, shift I and there. So now I have these individual ones. G, whoops, G moves that one and G moves that one like that here. All right, so we know they both are active. In fact, let me, actually, I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to put it down here on this bone instead. All right, so I have it there like this. And then let's see, verify that, yeah, that's working there. But now what I'm going to do is just simple stuff. Since these are just empties, or they could be regular objects like we saw in the last lesson, well, since they're just objects, we could just parent them to any other object. So I'm going to parent that to this here. So I'll shift control that and control P parent that to that object. Grab this, shift control P to that, parent that to that object. And then suddenly just by grabbing this object, maybe this is going to be our animation. We'll come down to our timeline like this, go to zero, and press I, make that our location rotation scale in here, move up to frame 100. And then just press G. Oh, actually, one thing, you know, if you just grab the Y axis like this and move it straight back, it doesn't do anything. So don't let that throw you. It may have thrown you in a few lessons. It threw me when I first got going with this. But I'll press G instead. And now I'm controlling them both, but with the same object, but they're both have different IK constraints at different locations as well. So now you can start controlling multiple, say, oh, legs of a spider. Uh, <laughs> creatures of all sort. Oh, oh, yes. This is the start. There's a lot of, between this, weight painting, you know, the, the shape and size of your mesh, number of vertices, um, where your bones lie across the vertices, everything, then you can start doing some pretty dramatic effects. In fact, you might be surprised just how much uh, knowledge you have already at this point. All right, so I'm going to set that there. We're going to maybe move it a little bit more like that and do this other right there. And then we'll verify that the animation is in, intact and working like that. Yep. That's it. Well, short lesson, like I said, and I'll see you in the next lesson.